You know, these pyramids that were found all around the world, they seem to have a connection to this knowledge, to this knowledge about the geometry, to this knowledge about the structure of space-time. And the pyramids themselves represent something very amazing, very remarkable. That is, they cannot easily be explained with conventional means. Right? It doesn't work out. <laughs> it really doesn't. When you try to do the vine pulling, you know, uh, slave guys with like logs and everything, there's a whole bunch of problems that happens. It was a good idea in the 1800s when the English archaeologists got there, but when you do the math, it doesn't work. It really doesn't, right? First of all, if they were rolling all these stones on big logs, when you go there and you check it out, you're in the middle of a desert. No logs, no trees, right? Where did all these logs come from, right? And then Grand Pyramid of Giza, right? 2,300,000 stone, all right? 2,300,000 stone. And when they were finished, placing them, so it's not just a problem of carrying the stones, when they were finished placing them, the apex of the, of the pyramid is a quarter of an inch off center from the 13-acre base. 13 acres, okay, the, the point 5,000 years later is like almost perfectly in the middle after placing 2,300,000 stones, right? Now, that doesn't happen with farmers. <laughs> it just doesn't. Actually, if you had all the means in the world all the engineering in the world, all the, all the money in the world, with our current technology, we can't do that. Because you have to divide a quarter of an inch by 2,300,000 stone to get the accuracy of placement. Okay? And those guys, they didn't have walkie-talkie. <laughs> so imagine... Imagine the dude that's on the first level, right? They're making the first level. Now, they got to have this thing, like, perfect, right? Because, if I mean, if they're off, like, a teeny bit on the first level, then you forget it, right? So, like, the guy's on the first level is on one corner, and there's the slave over there on the other corner. He's putting a rock down, and, like, the guy's, like, he's, he's eyeing it. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. You're a quarter, what? You're a quarter of a micron off. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> you didn't sleep enough. What's wrong? With What's wrong with those slaves? It's an amazing feat of engineering. Never mind that when they were done, then the, the faces of the pyramid is aligned to the north, like very high level of accuracy. It's not like you can build it and then like pick it up, you know, and kind of line it up. You got to calculate all that ahead of time. You got, I mean, it's amazing. 
And it doesn't happen with a bunch of slaves pulling on vine ropes. And you know what? Finally, finally, there's more and more archaeologists that are saying, well, yeah, there is issues. 